why is this film such a great movie? Why has it lasted all this time? Why has it endured and uh, is, is still there people, with people talking about it, quoting uh, the famous lines from the film? Well, I think the reasons are the same as for why any great film endures. It was a great script, it was beautifully directed, and it had some terrific performances in it. And of course, it had Newcastle as a backdrop. I think my generation of actors from this area owe a great debt to Get Carter, because before the success of Get Carter, we really weren't allowed to be in mainstream films and TV. And the reason was, they say, it was because they couldn't understand what we said. And since Get Carter, of course, we all know different. Because they are now what we're talking about now, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you give a movie icon? You give him another movie icon. And here is a little piece of that Trinity Square car park <laughs> that they were vlogging off at 5.50 a lump. <laughs> this is a seven pound lump, mind. And we hope here uh, at the RTS that it will be a timely reminder, a wonderful uh, harbinger of memories for Mike Hodges and of the fantastic time he spent here. He is one hell of a guy, a great director, and a very, very generous human being. I love him to bits, as do all the actors who've worked with him. Ladies and gentlemen, the inimitable Mike Hodges. I didn't think I was going to cry, but I think I am. God, this is embarrassing. And I'm deeply grateful that I came across Newcastle. I, I, I chose it because it looked like a hard city, and then when I got into it, I realized that the people were soft. And that was just the most generous thing I can possibly say about you. You're a remarkable group of people. And thank you uh, for everything you've done for me. I'm, I'm very touched. Thank you. Okay. Well done, Mike. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.